All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to SNKRX, which I'm pretty sure is SnakeRX. SnakeRX? I I have no idea what the RX stands for. The SNK is very clearly Snake. But uh, so this is a. It's three bucks. <laughs> that's that's honestly the most immediately notable thing is that this game is ridiculously cheap. Uh, I've been finding some really amazing games being sold for. Honestly, highway robbery prices, uh, on their own. Snurks? Oh, is it Snur- Oh, it's Snurks! That's probably it. Okay, um, anyway, so it's like a- It's like if you cross Gungeon, but with Snake, but with an auto-battler? So, effectively, each segment of your Snake automatically fights and has their own special features. So we've got a Cleric. Oh, I see, so I get to choose the starting Snake, question mark. Kind of. Okay, healer. Oh, and there are synergy bonuses, so having two or four increases healing effectiveness. Chance to crit to allied rogues, dealing extra damage, and extra defense to uh, warriors. So let's go... Let's go with these two. Party is that. I have no idea how I can... Ah, here we go. Welcome to... Snurks. Yep, it is definitely Snurks. You control a snake of multiple heroes that auto-attack nearby enemies. You can steer the snake left and right by pressing A and D or left and right arrows. Combine the same heroes to level them up. 1-1-1 one, one, one is to 2 at level 3 they unlock special effects. Higher heroes of the same classes to unlock class passives. Each hero can have 1 to 3 classes. You gain 1 interest per 5 gold, up to a maximum of 5. This means the saving above 25 gold doesn't yield more interest. Good luck! Alright, so auto-battler combined with roguelike combined with snake. Combined with, it's actually kind of loud. Ow. Okay, do not ram things. Or maybe ram things, I'm not sure. Arena clear. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. The music is so good. Like, I was not expecting it to be, like, this immediately good. Um, just because, you know, three-buck game. You expect three-buck quality. This is easily, like, ten, fifteen-buck quality right off the bat. Vagrant. Vagrant cost one. Ra Psyker Ranger Warrior shoots a projectile that deals 13.2 damage. We can also just get an archer or a wizard, but I think I'm gonna go for the Vagrant because... More classes? Maybe? Okay, and then I will wait, because I want to get... I want to get more. So what's the charge bar? I think that's, uh... That's how fast they attack. And I know I can... I can heal... Oh god, I'm just gonna drive right into these guys. I know bopping things with my ass is effective. What I should have done was actually put the warrior in front. I don't know how to do that, though. Okay. Oh, so I had a healer. Wait, no. So I do have a cleric. Level 3 effect. Did I get another cleric? I'll get another cleric. Can I change? Ah, there we go. So I can put the swordsman in the front. Okay, there we go. This should work. Hey, thank you, Sal, for the raid, and welcome on in. Yeah, so I can drag them around. So now we've got the warrior in front. Which is good. I'm not actually sure if the warrior is that much more durable. It seems like it. I can... Okay, I can kind of see why they wanted to go for, like, the cheaper immediate... Oh, gosh. These guys got kind of spooky. Um, I can somewhat see why they wanted to go for like a a lower price tag on this one, if only because there we go. Uh, the visuals are very oh gosh. I I need some more ranged units. I might want some wizards up in here. I'm not fast enough for this. There we go. That got that got bad. We'll see how this goes. Choose one. 
Three units will periodically take damage. All your allies gain plus eight damage per tick, extra AoE, extra movement speed. Let's go centipede. I gotta go fast. Okay. Dual gunner shoots two parallel projectiles. Let's see. Hunter, ranger, conjurer. Shoots an arrow that deals damage. Has a chance to summon a pet. And extra attack speed to all allies. So, I've got one cleric. Or, I, I've almost got a level 2 cleric. Ranger, Psyker, and Warrior. So, I actually have two warriors ish. Let's buy both of these. So, Ranger 3. So, extra chance to release a. Oh, I see. So, these are the class bonuses. And then you can stack them to level up. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So I'm faster, I'm longer, but I've got more immediate attack damage. Oh, here we go. And yeah, that extra movement speed is going to be huge. Because now, now I can actually just kind of ignore much of this without too much immediate fear. Looks like the guy in the back got clobbered a little bit. There we go. This works. It. This game looks like what would happen if we mixed Snake with an auto-battler. Yeah, you got it in one. Okay, items, more, reroll, lock. No, I don't want any of these. Chronomancer could actually be really cool. I'll consider it. But I really wanna I really wanna get my interest up. This is really cool. I love Oh. Okay, so do not bash the walls. It's probably not that big of a deal, but it's still it's still spooky scary. Range is the way to go, at least now, at least for now. It seems like it's got the most immediate uh, utility. Oh, there we go. At least as far as like not taking damage goes. I'll have to look into wizards because I feel like wizards could be really cool. Aha! There we go. This is working. I love this music. It's so good. Okay. Carver. Conjurer Healer carves a statue that periodically heals for one, one unit for 20... Ooh. Yeah. That'll be fine. So now we've got to some bonus. Mainly I'm thinking getting the extra healers sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Oh, I see. It lights up if I if I have the whole set. Or enough of a set. I know. It would be tempting to get two more, like, the two rogues and just go nuts with it, but I, I really want to get that econ rolling. Kill the elites. Okay. That totem is great. Eesh. Okay, that got spooky. I'm just gonna swing here. They're getting faster, and I'm getting clobbered. I'm getting too big. Okay, all enemies take extra damage, extra AoE damage, hitting walls, grants a moving speed buff. Let's go with enemies take more damage. This is gonna be hard to roll. Okay, so baseline, we want the Vagrant, and we want the Cleric. 
Okay. Shame about uh, dropping below 20, but it's necessary. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm digging this healing totem. Oop. Okay. I don't utilize it particularly well, but I dig it. Okay, let's try and scoot. Ignore those. Yeah. I don't know what happens when one of my segments dies. Maybe it just goes away. We will see. Bane. Versus five nearby enemies for six seconds will create void rifts on death. Interesting. I'm thinking we go... Archer and Wizard? Oh. Maximum number of units reached. Okay, let's lock that. Because what I've got are good. Snake was the OG roguelike. R. Um, so, I know people like to... Woo! Uh, I know people like to talk about how, like, arcade games, for example, are, are roguelikes. I kind of disagree with that. Um... I feel like roguelikes need a level of procedural generation and incremental upgrades that you don't get in like a proper OG, uh, like in a proper arcade game. So like, yeah. Yeah, so, like, most arcade games have permadeath. You die, you start over, kind of. Whoa! Ow. There goes my warrior. Uh, let's see if he comes back. Arena cleared. No, it looks like he comes back perfectly fine. Okay, so let's unlock, reroll. Juggernaut. Uh, let's see, Psy Keeper. What else do we have? Archer, Carver, Dual Gunner. Hunter. But you're, we're capped out class-wise, mainly because I got a lot of rangers, which I think is fine. Engineer. Drop sentries that shoot bursts of projectiles, each doing 10 damage. Because I like the carver. I mean, we could get rid of the ranger. Maybe. Engineer would be certainly lovely. Let's just get another hunter. It's getting more expensive. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to stick with what I've got. Um, I might honestly want to get rid of the warrior in the front, oddly enough. If I can. Ow. Okay, I can't just... I can't just leave him there. This got rough. Damn it. Yeah, those shooty dudes are wrecking me. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, I am I am in big trouble. Eesh. Yeah, I think we need I think we need some ranged characters here. I mean, I'm much smaller, so maybe this will go go easier. Okay. Yeah. Wizards next time for sure. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna own this. Wreck me. Put me down. Thank you. Neat idea, but definitely definitely want to stick to one category more so. Sebatur. Ooh. That said, let's go uh let's go conjurer this round. Skip the whole healer business, we don't need it. Dang. That's what I was looking for. All right. Ow. Okay. Enemy spawned right in on that. That is big whoops, but that's okay. Yeah, this is what we needed. Yeah, focus on one type, max a bunch of chrono uh, chronomancers for rapid fire. Tempting, because yeah, I only need four conjurers to pull off what I need. Um... We might want to look into... Yeah, Rogue, Conjure, and Nuker. I feel like Nuker might be the way to go. Wizard could also be really interesting. But yeah, A AoE definitely feels like where it's at. The biggest issue is going to be the ranged dudes. I... Okay. One thing I wish this game had... I wish the front... Uh, was an arrow, instead of just a circle. That would make such a huge difference. Oof. Yeah, so those, those track. Okay, so we gotta be careful. We've taken some damage here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Another cleric, swordsman, scout. No thank you. I'm just gonna purist this, I guess. The one problem is it does seem like Conjurer might be a little, um, rare. Puts me in a bit of a bit of a pickle. There we go. Okay. Let's just do that. I don't think I can take damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can take damage from my own explosions. Which is good because I'd be in a very bad spot otherwise. There we go. Nope, we ain't done yet. At least there isn't a single shooty dude in this mix. Okay. Just gotta tough it out. Yeah, I love the, uh, the mechanics they're expressing here. The only immediate problem I'm running into is this reminds me a lot of uh, Nova Drift back when um, I first started playing it where I just like could not control it for the life of me. We also need some more damage. We are just a little weak. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Yeah, that, that speed boost is spooky. There we go. Alright. Knockback force, damage over time. All knives thrown by rogues chain extra times. I'm gonna go flying daggers. We're gonna pick up some rogues. Just for some extra oomph. Yep. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Rogues are real strong. And this gives me a second segment, so I don't have to worry as much. But yeah, the, uh, the explosions soften them up. And the daggers finish them off, or vice versa, really. It's just a much better one-two punch. Okay, squires and wizards, and I have no interest. Oh, look at that. It's so good. I'll, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Though, there's no guarantee we're always going to get this upgrade to go by, so... It's just... This is ridiculously strong. Oops. I really gotta watch out for the walls. Damn it! Ah, that had some potential, but no dice. Do we go wizard? We go wizard. Let's see, wise and wander rerolling. Interest. You want to get up to twenty-five coins? Okay. Wizard natively seems pretty good. And this way we could go Conjurer. The one thing is, it is very slow. I like the idea of the scout. Let's let's just go raw wizard, raw wizard here, raw wizard here. We need six of them too, so that's kind of a limitation. But yeah, it's a lot like the uh, the demo man from earlier. Fires a little faster, slightly less boom. Only fires once. Release the Rizzes. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding some of those other combo classes. I feel like there's got to be some really cool things that I can get down, down those directions. Oh, yeah. Not having a whole lot of luck here. <laughs> we already have a wizard comet. Uh, wizard command. All right, sure. Why not? Yeah, what I want to do is herd them into small groups. Really maximize that AOE. It's just the problem is I am very slow. Which hurts. A lot. Oh. I might not survive that one. Yeah, killing the greens. I was under the impression that the greens would do it periodically, but no, it's it's when a green dies that it gives everything else the speed boost. Damn it. Alright. So, wizard good... More wizard better? I don't think actually more wizard does anything. Yeah, it doesn't actually give me more wizard.
Yeah, what I want is the Chronomancer. If I can get the Chronomancer... We end up in a really good spot. Is it a faster fire rate, though? Uh, let's see. Well, at the very least, we can get a level 2 wizard immediately. Which increases the damage. All the <laughs> magic missile, projectile chains, more. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Definitely longer range. Well, this this wizard is wrecking things. That much is certain. Okay, what do we get? None of these. I'd like to pick and mix, and it's like to some degree, it might not be a bad idea to just invest in scouts, uh, just because they seem pretty common and have decent AOE too. And just have that be kind of my vague seventh. Plus, it effectively doubles my HP just to get one more of these guys. This looks super simple, but a lot of fun. Yeah, I gosh, if this had a uh, if this had a Nova Drift style of like visuals, uh, it would be incredible. Like that's the only thing this game is missing. It's got the bump and soundtrack. It's got the, uh, the solid gameplay. A really unique concept that, like, I am already instantly in love with. <sighs> okay. Whew! All warriors gain defense? No. Extra damage to rangers and rogues? Projectiles the chain do extra damage with every chain. Let's go with Ultimatum. Cryomancer. Works great for me. And yeah, I'm going to start investing in scouts just as a... They're really solid on their own. Yeah. This should be solid. Cryomancer especially. Because having that light AoE to punish anything in my periphery sounds really helpful. I gotta be careful, though. So what does the Cryomancer do? Nearby enemies take damage per second. I have to get it up to level 3 before they're slowed. So no, it's not a slow aura, it's a damage aura. At least, at this start. There we go. Well, that hurt. It's okay. We lost the Cryomancer. Grand scheme of things, didn't need it. Yeah, this is why picking up those ex extra segments are so crucial. Because this way I can actually... ...survive hits. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want none of these. We're getting real close. Yep, well, there goes the Chronomancer again. That's kind of okay, and kind of expected. Oh! Well, shit. Damn it. Alright. Well, 
that's it for a good first episode. We had potential. I uh, squandered it a little bit. Maybe I'll try Warrior, but yeesh. I don't really know. I might want to just uh, re-roll this one and try and make it work uh, next time. So for now, at least, uh, for those of you on YouTube, this game is really cool. Here, I, I outro deferred a little bit. This game is really cool. It's also three bucks on Steam, which is incredible. There are a few games that I would say I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see them double the price purely just f to guarantee longer development on this game. Alternatively, uh, flip side is boy. Hopefully, a lot of people just pick this up and it can get. Uh, it can get the funding it deserves because this game is incredible and it's like is really cool and i want to see more of it i'm also looking at some of the steam screenshots and you can go past seven segments but i'm not sure how to do it probably later later on uh but it's super cool i can't wait to do another one of these so once again for those of you on youtube if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more hit subscribe because i i'm gonna play more of this almost immediately in fact uh but with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.